Today I'm going to look at the Behringer XR18 digital mixer and how I can use a MIDI foot controller to mute channels, buses, effects returns, and the main left right out. Here's an example of what I'm after. Right now you're hearing the dry vocal mix, but I also have a reverb and delay, each coming back on their own effects returns that are muted. If I unmute them, this is what it sounds like. Check, check. check. So it's pretty obvious that during the song you want to have the effects mixed in and between songs uh, if the singer's addressing the audience you want to turn those off. If you have a sound engineer running the show and they're on top of it then they're going to manage that for you. But a small band or a duo running their own sound uh, it helps to have something on stage that one of the band members can hit in order to uh, turn off the effects. So that's what I've done here. I have a four button MIDI controller and I've programmed it so that the second button uh, takes all the effects out of the vocal mic. The first button puts all the effects in. And then I also have a third button programmed that mutes the vocal mic entirely, um, just in case it has to be unplugged. And the fourth button mutes the main left right out so that um, the audience is not hearing the mains, but the band members still have themselves in their monitors. Now for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you how to program a MIDI foot controller to accomplish this. I already had this four button MIDI foot controller that I ended up outgrowing from a previous guitar rig. It's by Peak. And it runs about $150 if you buy it directly from the um, manufacturer website. The most important thing about picking a foot controller to do this is it has to be able to send control change messages. If it just sends program change messages, you won't be able to mute the channels on the Behringer. This product allows you to send eight controller changes simultaneously on one button press, which means I can control the states of up to eight channels, buses, FX returns, and the main output simultaneously. As I do the programming on this pedal, I'm going to try and keep the discussion generic so that you can take it and apply it to any MIDI foot controller that sends control changes. Let's go up one bank and start from scratch. Right now, you're still hearing the dry signal because I had nothing programmed on bank two button one. Entering the programming mode on this pedal happens by holding down the two bank buttons. The first thing now is the pedal is asking me to set up to four program changes that it can send out. I'm not going to be using any program changes, so I'm going to advance beyond those. Program two, program three, program four. Now I've entered the control change section where I can set up to eight control change messages to go out. A MIDI control change consists of two values. The first value is the designation on what's being controlled. You'll need to look in the XR18 user manual to know exactly which control change maps to what item on the mixer. In this case, I want to target audio channel 3, which is where my mic is plugged in. The control change numbers are logical from looking at a mixer left to right. So they go from 0 to 31, starting with the channels, going through the effects returns of the buses and the main out. We want to target control change number 2. Now I need to set the second value of the control change. That's a number from 0 to 127. You can think of that number like a level control, 0 being all the way down and 127 being all the way up. However, here we're talking about mutes, so there's really only two values, uh, on and off. Behringer designates value 127 as being muted and 0 being mute off. I'm going to set this to 0 so it unmutes my vocal mic when I press the button. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for my FX return for the reverb, the FX return for the delay, and the main left-right output. I want to program it so that all of those are unmuted when I press the button. FX return 1 is controller number 17. FX return 2 is controller number 18. FX, or I'm sorry, main left right output is controller number 31.
Now I'll just save that. And now because the button's been pressed, all the effects are back. I don't have a uh, button programmed right now to unmute the effects, so I just interfaced with the tablet software directly. Now I just want a button that mutes the two effects returns. Again, skipping over all the program changes that I don't need into the control change section. MIDI channel 2 for control changes into the XR18. Controller number 1 is the effects return number 1, which is 17. And this time I want to choose value 127, which mutes the, the uh, effects return. This pedal only has a two-digit LCD display, or, and um, I just know that 2.7 means value 127. MIDI controller number 18 is the effects return number 2. And again, I want to check that. I want to set that for 127. Save that. And now I should have the two buttons back and forth turning on and off the effects returns. Check. 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 And that does it. The process for programming all the other buttons are the same with regards to mutes. There are other MIDI pedals that are more advanced than this, including pedals offered by Peak, where you could program one button that works as a toggle switch for a mute um, on a channel or multiple channels from one switch. So exactly like sitting at the console hitting the mute button over and over, on, off, on, off. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you enjoy videos revolving around music gear. Till next time.